And good evening, everybody. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic evening wherever you are in the big wide world. We're back. We're live. We're streaming. Um, all right. So we're going to be doing something a little bit different tonight, you guys. Um, we're going to be doing uh, a, basically like learning together with with Adobe Photoshop. That's going to be the plan tonight. Now, we're going to be learning from Jaron is caring, the man, the myth, the, uh, the great, great legend from our YouTube channel. He's going to be helping myself uh, as well as several other streamers create some amazing thumbnails that's going to be the plan for tonight once again we're going to be using adobe photoshop a big shout out to adobe they are a sponsor of the stream you guys um if you ha haven't checked them out yet you can check out the creative cloud all apps plan i think it's 60 percent off for students um more importantly what we're going to be doing um is we're going to be learning and one thing that i would say is an amazing thing about, thing about photoshop is that it's not just something that um, is for like creators, for influencers um, and streamers to use, but anybody can use it. You can learn with these tools how to create some amazing thumbnails. And um, once again, it's all about creativity and with people who play games, whether it's chess, whether it's like COD, Call of Duty, or sorry, COD, Fortnite, whatever it may be. Um, once again, you can be very creative and learn on, learn on your journey. So that's going to be the plan for tonight, you guys. Um, uh, we're we're going to be starting very shortly, I think, with Jaren is caring, showing us how to do this. Again, I myself have not done this before, you guys, so I'm probably going to make a... I don't want to say a fool out of myself, but I want to say that it's uh, it's going to be... Um, it's going to be uh it's going to be interesting how will I do it this. So 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 be prepared for a bit of um bit of fun. I see Hey W is in the chat as well. Um Hey W of course creates some of those great great videos, the people videos for for um XQC. So I'm sure he's going to watch this and um probably there's there's that uh there's that that emote. I forget what it is where you go like that. You put your hand on your face and I half expect him to to do that during um during during large parts of the stream. So at any rate, <laughs> right, exactly, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, once again, we're going to be doing it with Kelsey. Kelsey is dangerous, Nega Oryx, and um, Avi Lee May, uh, who, who does a lot of stuff with LCS. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, after that, I may or may not continue on with the stream. I'm not really sure at the, at the present moment what we're doing, but it's something different. After 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 all the chess we've done lately, I kind of want to uh, test out a lot of different things. So once again, a big shout-out to Adobe. Make sure make sure to check it out. They, they have... Um, I, I believe the, uh, the the price is $19.99 a month, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and that's, that's for the Qu Cloud All Apps plan. Of course, there is a 60% discount, of course, for students as well. Today, we're going to be using, um, we're going to be using Photoshop exclusively though so it's gonna be um it's gonna be fun we're, we're kind of getting ready for it and i really don't know what to expect i've never used photoshop before personally um of course i know that anybody who's trying to create create art uses it i mean anytime you see these amazing things whether it's like in the reddit in the reddits like my own subreddit whether it's like live stream fails I guess not live stream fails, but there, there are many different reddits and subreddits where uh, you see amazing artwork that is created. I know that everybody does use Photoshop for the most part, so uh, really, really looking forward to it. And uh, I can only hope that I that I do a decent job. That's that that's all that I can say. I really hope that I do um, do a decent decent job. Once again, thank you to all all the resubs as well. Thank you to Bo thank you to Boater Mike for the tier one, Armu for the tier one. Thank you to Pattis Monkey for the seven. Yusef LSM for the nine, Tagwan for the 29 months. Thank you to Assert Design for the four, Chess, Chess Knight for the three, Jaren is Caring for the 28 months. Appreciate it. Do the XQC Schnozer. Um, that would have been pretty funny to do a thumbnail, a thumbnail around that. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, that that would be uh that that'd be quite quite tricky. At any rate, though, once again, it's it, we're we're doing something quite a bit different. I'm 600 at Photoshop. If I had to assign a rating, I don't know. I mean if i if i if i had to guess i mean i'm i'm not sure i'm not sure it could be good i could be really good i could also be really bad uh oh i missed 25 gifted subs um did i, did I miss it wait i did it not refresh wait what thank you to chris Velos for the 10 months uh i don't see a 25 gifted anyway um uh yeah i think you're trolling me all right so so yeah once, once again, as you guys know, with cloud, with cloud all apps plan, that's like Photoshop, Acrobat Pro, Lightroom, Illustrator, Design, XD Premiere Pro, and more. I think you also get 100 gigabytes of storage as well, which is uh, pr pretty pretty incredible too. So we're going to be starting about like five minutes or thereabouts. I think Jaren, Jaren has picked out some various pictures of me that he's made many thumbnails out of over the over the over the past couple of years and um, once again if you guys have not checked out the youtube channel make sure to um 
make sure to go check it out almost not all of them but a lot of the thumbnails have been done by jaron is caring so he is the expert here and for those of us who are streamers we're, we're very hopeful that we're going to learn something something special from him tonight photoshop is like a beginner chess player plays chess 960 um maybe i don't know i mean it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting i either think i'm gonna pick it up like that or it's gonna be a bit of a struggle but once again we're here to learn and um it, it we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see whether i possess this talent Thank you to Henley Lord Watton for the uh, gifted sub. Thank you to Trav Viral for the 11 months. Thank you to Photoshop for the 20 months as well. Appreciate it. Do I know how the pieces move in Photoshop? No, I, do, I don't. Um, once again, you guys, this is a sponsored stream. A big shout out to the sponsor of the stream, uh, Adobe. With Once again, they have their creative all apps uh, plan, which is which has a 60% discount for students, and it's $19.99 a month. So make sure, make sure to check it out. And hopefully, if you guys learn enough from the stream, you'll be inspired as well to continue your creative journey and learn um learn how to use photoshop and, and all the other great products that adobe has to offer play bullet or riot we might play bullet later you guys but we're gonna be um we're, we're going to uh, be learning how to make thumbnails and that way if i learn how to do it well enough maybe i can I, after i be, after i'm done with my streaming career i can i can go on to become a uh become a thumbnail thumbnail expert and uh make thumbnails for youtube channels that that'll be my second career right um yeah, making myself obsolete. Yeah, all right. GM Picasso. Uh, no, Picasso. Picasso had more talent in one finger than 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 I have in my entire body. So no. World record Photoshop run. I don't know what that means, but it's uh, yeah. I I don't know. Thank you to Comic for the three hundred bits. Thank you so much to Meanly for the six months as well. Once again, you guys, we're, we're doing something quite a bit different tonight. Um. With, with Adobe Photoshop. I know a lot of you guys are, are used to me playing only chess, but sometimes you need a break. Sometimes you need to mix it up. Didn't expect the stream. What's the reason? Uh, we're doing a sponsor stream in, in partnership with, uh, with Adobe and um, just learning something new. Also, what I would say as well, another important thing is I think we're going to learn a lot about how brilliant Jaren is. I think a lot of people take for granted how how amazing the editors are, the thumbnail thumbnail artists, um, the people who create these amazing arts of work. I think a lot of people see it. It's like, oh, well, probably you just do one little thing. You slap something on and that's a thumbnail. When in reality, there's a lot more to it. So I think we're going to see the genius that is behind um, that, that is behind um, all the people who create these amazing these amazing pieces of work. Recognition, recognition, recognition. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's the thing. It's like, will I use will will I use the US championship in Photoshop five times? Right. Will will I do yeah, the five time, five time US champion, exactly. Um, so so you'll be creating everyone's thumbnails from now on to earn a few extra millions on the side. <laughs> Good one. Will Jaron be on the stream? Uh, we're gonna be on a call. I don't think Jar Jaron's not gonna be on video, but he will be on the call. So we're basically what's gonna happen is he's gonna give us a lesson. Um, he's gonna basically show us some techniques for how how to make thumbnails and then I mean, once again, cro cro cross my heart and uh, pray that I that I learn enough uh, that I can then do a decent thumbnail after that. We're all going to be trying to do thumbnails, um, and and Jaron probably will sit back and and give us some critiques, and we can hope that we do a good job. But but we 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 don't know. We don't we don't know. We 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 hope we hope. That's that's the goal is to to make make a good thumbnail. On the other hand, there's a chance that it could be uh, that that I that I could I could I could do like what XQC did some. He did some art thing the other day in some game where I think he was drawing a tree and he was like using the brush and he was doing a doing a very very bad job whatever whatever the uh whatever that game what whatever that game was and um so I I don't know I, I figure if I can do maybe a little bit better than that it's all good he he was doing a brush thing where he's like doing a tree but he was like it was not it was not it was not good um it was not good so anyway um that's that's what we're doing though that's what we're doing for now um is we're gonna learn how to make thumbnails and and hopefully uh, hopefully by the end by the end of the stream we, we will have learned how to make a good thumbnail and everybody at home will also have learned how to make a good thumbnail and additionally be be inspired to check out the all all the Adobe Adobe Cloud app um, app app uh, programs. All right, so I'm gonna jump over into the Discord, you guys, and I think we're gonna get started in one second. Uh, let me stop the music while I'm, while I'm at it. And um, all right, let me let me go over to the Discord. So so just hang on there for one second, you guys. I'm gonna join that join join that discord all right what's up you guys all right we're we're, we're, we're waiting for everybody can you hear me jaron oh you can hear me how's it how's it going
Um, I was just talking uh, talking about uh, Adobe and all the great products they have to offer, and I'm, I was kind of getting ready for Jaren to teach me because I've never used Photoshop before. Um, nope. So so. <laughs> That, that sounds easy to do. I, th I think I probably could do that, but no, I, I haven't. I'm a complete newbie. So, so either it's going to be very good or it's going to be very bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. All right, J Jaren, are you there? Ah, he's he's muted right now. Okay, so we're we're, we're just waiting. Yep. Ah, good. How about yourself? Mhm. Mm Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So pretty much I am gonna be say gonna be say like an intermediate user, not a pro necessarily, maybe like a sixteen hundred uh Photoshop user, but somehow I've made this work for the last two years for Hikaru. And I'll be showing you guys how I've made uh thumbnails uh for the last two years. So are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah let's, let's go do for it. it. Yeah. Okay, so pretty easy. You just click here, press W, select subject. Let it go. Then we do the oh, wait, hold thumbnail. Up, hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting you up. Huh? 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 <laughs> race me, race me, race me, race me. And then we'll do blending options. So, so basically, for, first, 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 we upload it. And then you're saying we press W, um, W, W, and what? And uh, yes. there we go. We're done. Are you just we run the thumbnail? Us? What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I the whole stream. I just tutorial i didn't know and it's like it's <laughs> press w there you go and, and all the magic is done like two seconds right <laughs> okay well, i was just kidding was... <laughs> i've never I made a thumbnail kidding. that fast in my life all right so um yeah i'll start off with the basics for you guys um i take it you guys are on like the beginning screen right now and like you have like like say there's like a bunch of options there's like a tutorial offer uh right now mm -hmm. so uh what i'm gonna have you guys all do is pr press Control N, and what this is going to create a new document. Say uh, we're going to create the canvas for like where the thumbnail is going to go. And uh, personally, I work in just the photo or in the YouTube thumbnail size, which is twelve eighty by seven twenty, and the resolution will be three hundred. So you could, if you guys could like type that out. So twelve eighty where? Wait, I always make my thumbnails nineteen twenty nineteen. 1980 Ooh, by... she's challenging Ooh. you. What is it? I always make it big, the big size. Ooh. So uh, I do debate about people with this, but like for me personally, I make so many of these every day that I'm just like, eh, you can just make it straight to the size that YouTube wants. But if you do want to go hard mode, you oh. could do anything that's at, I believe <laughs> I the resolution. I harder on myself, and that's a common theme in my life. So good so to you know. Can't... Yeah, you can uh, do the resolution. That's just your screen. Pretty much is the same as uh, any 16 by 9 resolution. So uh, 1920 by 1080 is actually like a multiple of uh, 1280 by 720. But we, uh, this is no, where I usually like starting. that much when I made them. Ah, I see. I learn something new every day. And then the last thing is that we've got to make sure that the resolution Sorry, is 1280 by what? 1280 by what? Uh, 720. Like, if you were Tony Hawk, that's, like, uh, two revolutions in a row. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Then we'll create. And we start off with this uh, blank canvas. Looks like that. So, uh, this is the hard part. Um, I guess the, the saying goes is that uh, blank canvas is God's way of telling us how hard his job is. <laughs> and uh, we are pretty much going to fill this up with uh some sort of uh thumbnail right right yes okay 
So I think what I do want to do is uh, start off with an easy one first. And uh, just going to put in this, this photo of Ikaru. It's, uh, you guys should have it in your folders. And uh, when we make thumbnails, like I like to think of it like, what layers do I want uh, out of a thumbnail? Or at least first, first I come up with the idea. And then I think, what are the layers that go into it? Because like Photoshop documents, they're like onions and ogres. They're, they have layers. <laughs> and uh, you pretty much have to cut out the layers of the shapes and then place them onto the canvas. And then remember that uh, for YouTube thumbnails, they'll always be at, say, this size for uh, desktop users. And then for mo mobile users, they'll be at like this size. So like, uh, obviously, uh, composition, just like making things visible is really important. And I like to like, like think about that sort of stuff first before I start doing anything else. Hmm. Okay. But uh, say what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, Hikaru's face here. I'm going to put, uh, say, an explosion in the background. Oh, it's got to have explosions. Oh, love that. And then uh, I actually forgot that. to how give did, you how guys. How did you do that, Jaren? Oh, I dragged, I dragged an image from the other monitor, which mm -hmm. you guys can't see. And then I put it into there. Uh, it depends on your computer settings, but you should be able to drag files and images directly into Photoshop. If you guys can't do that, um, I do have another method where you can go file. Oh, no, I did it. Open. Oh, okay, okay. Wait, but, are people uh, going to be doing the same thing as you right now? I'm um, improvising a little bit. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh, I was just okay. watching him, and then I was going to do it later. Oh, um, yeah, uh, which I'm one are you streaming? Too. You know I'm, what? I'm, I'm going to just watch. I'm going to keep going. Okay, okay. You're yeah, um, anything else. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. working on it, you know? He's, like, doing extra credit out here. Trying I'm... to... I'm just trying to do me. I drew some boogers in my nose. I'm. Oh, I feel great you. about my art. Aww. I can't wait for you to show it to the class. Wait, so, 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 Jaren, so, so, to to make the size bigger or smaller, how do you do that? Of the of the image, image itself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, remember this short shortcut. It's Control T. Mm -hmm. This is the basic transform, and it pretty much lets you uh, resize. And then if you hold shift while you're doing it, uh, like holding on, you can also like adjust the width of it. But I believe by default, it's uh, uh, like this. Okay. And then uh, just uh, another thing. This is, this is probably the most important shortcut out of the entire thing. It's control alt Z. And this will uh, let you go backwards. It's an undo button. And then control uh -huh. shift Z to like re redo everything that you've done. <laughs> Uh, so, so, yeah. so control shift Z will basically put it back to the last spot that you were at. Yeah, if you okay. could, like, keep pressing it, there's um uh, a history uh, that Photoshop will like. Photoshop is watching you at all times, just letting you know. <laughs> but it is like keeping track of what you're doing, and uh, you know, it's you can make fun little mistakes. You know, Bob Ross it. <laughs> okay, so uh, what we're gonna do is. Uh, now that I have like a basic idea of like what this is is gonna be, I'm going to uh, just do the cutting out of Hikaru, uh, the streamer, just uh, whoever you're gonna be working with. And there's uh, two ways to do this. Actually, there's three ways, but I'm gonna teach you the two easy ways uh, to do this first. The first one is um, like how most people learn. They will uh, say take a cutout. And I'll just like get a rough cut of this. And uh, oh, sorry, I'm moving too fast. Well, well, uh, how, I'm using... yeah, how are you? How are you doing that? <laughs> sorry, this is like one of those things where like I've done it so often. Very quickly between one wider screen and a not as wide screen. Is that like a thing that you like to do, or is my like screen glitching? Oh, um, give me a second. Like when you start cutting it out, it goes to that. Yeah, like that. Wait, what? Is that just something you do? Uh oh, th like this, right? It, did it change now? No. Okay. Am I going insane? Anyway, uh, you can ignore me. I just okay, my chat okay. was like, why does the screen keep spazzing out? And I was like, I don't know. Okay, sorry if there's a glitch. I think what I'm doing is I'm alt tabbing, and uh, I think the stream is like picking it up. Uh, sorry about that, everyone. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Anyway, back to this. Um, this is like uh, you want to like basically cut out Hikaru from this uh, picture and like erase the background. The way that uh, a lot of people are taught is to say, uh, like take a color. I'm gonna choose green because that's not a color that's in here. Uh, press G mm -hmm. for the paint bucket tool, and this basically fills up the entire uh, screen. And then you can take an eraser. Uh, oh, wait a sec. I'm <laughs> moving too fast. I forgot. Uh, make sure that this is selected. Like it's the auto select with a check mark, and so, then so, right so, next. So wait, so so in, inside you press G. You said to show the color thing on the far right. Yeah. I. Uh, oh, okay. I'm realizing I'm moving too fast. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. So paint bucket tool. Uh, press G, and yeah. uh, make mm -hmm. sure it's on paint bucket instead of uh, gradient. The way that you can check it is by uh, holding down the mouse. Wait, I'm, then... I'm confused. I'm hitting G, and I'm not getting what you're getting, like the paint color. Oh, oh, oh okay. do, do I have to? I have to highlight the paint on the far, far, far. Uh, where Left. is it? Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm trying to find it. Okay, one second. Okay, one is it? Sorry, I'm apparently stupid too. It's okay. So it's it's uh, a learning process for all of us, right? Yeah, I'm gonna put up my stream on the other uh, screen. Give me a second. Okay. Okay. Give me a sec. I see why. I see why. So, um, I think your toolbar is missing. Uh, or do you see a toolbar on the left side? Uh, I I do see a toolbar on the left side. Yes. Okay. Do you see uh, this uh, the move tool and then the paint bucket tool? Like, are you here? Uh, I I have my own screen up now too. Um, okay, okay. You see I see it now. Okay, so right now you're on the gradient tool, at least uh, with the mm -hmm. delay that I have. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want you to hold down the mouse. Okay. And then Which one, left uh, or right? Uh, left, please. Okay. Okay, and then switch from the gradient tool to the paint bucket tool. Okay. How? Okay, you hold down on this bucket on the square, and then uh, hold it until a menu pops uh, up. Yeah, and yeah, then I see it. Okay, paint bucket tool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Jaren. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I go back a step for a very basic question? Oh, sure, sure, of course. I don't know if you'll know anything about this, but for some reason, um, I have been following the steps. I have the image open and whatnot, but my OBS is just not showing anything other than the like welcome screen for Photoshop. I'm just shooting my shot here and checking if you know why that might be, because I'd love for my chat to see what I'm working on. Okay. Um, in my head, uh, what, what's happened is that uh, you have like the project window out. And uh, like, is that true? Do you see like a... Are you watching my screen, by the way? Yeah, the project window's not out. Okay. Is there any way to merge it with the other one, or no? I mean, it looks fine on my end. It's just OBS isn't showing it. Okay. Um, no worries if you don't know how. I just figured I would ask. Okay. Uh, there's two options. We can either go into uh, OBS and uh, make, make it point to uh, the image itself, mm -hmm. or we can... Um, just display capture it. Uh, which one or whichever one you're uh, more comfortable with, I think, uh, will work. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay. No problem. All right. Looks like Hikara's uh, already working on this, right? <laughs> uh, I was trying to, but I can't undo it. I was hitting Control Shift Z and out one one undo the changes. Okay. So uh, Control Shift Z oh, is it's only like one. Step. It's Control Alt Z, right? Wait. Oh, Control Alt Z. My bad. Yeah. yeah. Uh. And you can do it as many times until you go all the way back uh, to it. Oh. Uh-oh, there's a conflict. <laughs> Tell you what, I'm going to, instead of doing the shortcut, I'm going to have you go to edit. Yes. And then uh, where it says uh, step backwards, I'll have you click on that. Oh, no, I got it. I got it. I can just go control Z. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Making sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, um... Anyway, that was a lot of steps. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out where I am now. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna cut out this photo, right. just like the old mm -hmm. way. And uh, to choose a color, uh, you uh, 
you double click on this left side where there's like two uh, squares, right? But you want to choose the one that's on top. The one on the bottom is like, it's like a mm -hmm. second uh, right. swatch that you can just like choose. Uh, choose like uh, the foreground, like just a color that's not in the photo. Uh, I usually do green. Mm -hmm. And then make sure, and then uh, put it on a new layer. How do you create a new uh, layer? Uh, control shift N. Okay. And it looks like you've already done that. And then move this layer uh, from uh, on top of it to the bottom of the photo that you're trying to cut out. Okay, so, so, huh. Yeah, just like that. Okay, and then, Guys, uh, I'm done. oh, you are? I, I just, I, I just posted in the general, I'm done. I think I made a pretty good thumbnail. I want to see it. Avali, you're supposed to, like, at least make it a competition. You're I love it! it. <laughs> that fast? Well, I'm just learning the basics the and you're already done? That's crazy. Oh my gosh. Is it okay if I uh, stick with Hikaru for now so that way uh, I can get him up to speed? Yes, do that. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you guys can make more. Like, uh, we'll make this a competition where, like, the more that you do, it, the more chances you have of making the best thing, right? Wait, we Perfect. have to just. I'm supposed to be make. I was trying to learn. Kelsey, okay. do I have your permission to use your face in your photos? Oh, 100%. You oh, I'm in. so going in, Kelsey. Okay. All over my face. Okay. All right, you still there, Hikaru? Yeah, I'm still here. So you can see, like, I, I have mine. Like, I, I cut, I, I basically, like, I have it on this. You said create a new layer, right? Yeah. Um, and... Can you go back to the one with uh, you? Because uh, I'm not going to let you use the, I'm not going to uh, let you let, use let me, the... let me get that. I didn't actually do that because I thought we were making them everybody else. Just give me one second. Oh, okay, um, okay. I just have to, yeah. I just have to get the, uh, get, get that, that link. Just give me one second. Um, You're using the layer that uh, I pre-cut as a sort of like, hey, I'm, this is already done. Uh, so right, that way you yeah, guys yeah, can exactly. spend your stream yeah, yeah. there. One, one second. Let, let, me, let, me just, uh, let, me, let me just open up the new tab. Just give me one second. Let me just get my images. I, I, I didn't think we were doing it with, with, uh, with my images. So one second. Okay, okay. Yeah, that, that's fine. Download it. Okay, I'm, I'm just downloading this one. Okay, one second. All right, Which one so, are you doing, by the way? If I, uh, I'm going to use the one that you, that you have on your screen. So let me click on click new, okay. right? And then I do it yeah. 1280 by 780. Oh, let me just 720. It Which, uh, it's, it's 12, oh, sorry, it's 1280 by what? 720. 720, yeah. That's actually, oh, okay, I guess I didn't say that. One second. Oh, that's okay. Let's go ahead. Wait, what did I just do? Okay, you created it, it looks like. Yeah, so it's blank. Right. Okay. Now, now uh, take the photo. It. One second, why, why can't I? Oh, yeah, take the photo from, the, from yeah, okay, I got it. Yeah, I put it, I put it here. Wait, okay. well, let me copy it. One second. Okay. Some computers won't let you do it, I've noticed. But it looks like yours does. It should. It doesn't. Okay, okay. remind me what the old way is to do it. Okay. Uh, uh, file. Okay. Yeah. Open. Mm -hmm. And then uh, go through and... Uh, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I got it. Yeah. All right. Wait. Where did it go? One second. Okay, there we go. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now we're gonna take the eraser tool, uh, okay. which is press E or okay. uh, go here. Uh, it looks like an eraser Oops. on the toolbar. Or uh, whoops, that, that just changed my scene. I hit E and that changed my scene in OBS. Whoops. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, no shortcuts for you, I guess. <laughs> I just hit E and that just changed it in OBS. Okay. Yeah. What was that? Okay. This is one of those things where I've been doing this for so long in my life that like. I uh -huh. forgot that like people don't know how to do this. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 So you see how your cursor cursor like is uh it's this like circle, right? You can actually change the shape of it, the size of it, especially. Mm -hmm. And we want to like change it to something bigger so that way it takes up more of the screen and it'll be easier to do. And then okay. we also want to switch it to uh hard round instead of soft round. Which is where? Okay. So wait, uh the stream's delayed, but I need you to be on the eraser, which uh looks like the eraser on the toolbar. On, on the left hand side, right? Uh huh. Okay. Uh, is it? Where is it? It's uh above the one that's already selected. Uh, the paint bucket tool. This. Oh yeah, it looks like you're already on it. Okay. No, that's a, that's then... a brush tool. But okay. Oh wait, uh, below it, below it. Okay, there we go. Mm hmm. Okay. Then I want you to right click on uh the picture. Right click on the picture. Okay. Mm hmm. And then this uh brush size uh should pop up. Right. And you can change the size of the brush. Mm -hmm. um, I would change it to like maybe like a 
100 for now. And then uh, change it to a hard round right 100, now. 100 uh, where on the size? Uh, yeah. Okay. And then it looks like you need to mm -hmm. click on general brushes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it pops out. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. Uh, I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Okay. And then with this, we can uh, just like start uh, erasing your image and cutting you out. And okay. then also we can press Control Plus on your keyboard to zoom in. Okay. Let me do that. Okay. So I hit Control Plus, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this will give you the ability uh, to like get closer. And then if you want to like move around. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I guess you can't press E because that changes the scene, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it does. But, I, I, yeah, I think it does. Okay. But can you press H? H. Okay, I press the H, yes. It turns into a hand. You can, like, yes. move around, and it's, like, this, like, okay, helps. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, you know? all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we use the eraser. Uh, press the eraser. Don't press E. And okay. then you can just cut out this way. So how do I cut it out? Okay. Uh, just, uh... Where's the green layer? Oh, it's not there yet. Okay. So here's what I'm going to have you do, right? Mm -hmm. Click create I'm a gonna... new layer, right? Yeah, create a new layer. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Where's then, it? uh, yeah, layer one. Wait, one second. Let, let, me, let me just close, close these other layers because I, I have too many layers. Okay. Yeah. Go okay. Mm -hmm. Right. And now I click uh, the black and white. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, change it to green. Uh, how do I make it all green? There's... Okay. Uh, are you already at green? Yeah, uh, I'm at green. Click on the paintbrush, or not the the paint bucket tool. Do I do I click OK to the color? Uh yes, yeah. Okay. okay. It's still what? Okay. Yeah, and then make sure that you are on the. Uh, could you go to the other document? Uh, I mm -hmm. think you're on the blank document uh, without your photo on it. Yeah, that, that's where I am right now. You want me to go back to my picture? Uh yeah, the picture. Okay. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, okay, there we go. Uh, okay. So you see in your layers, the the bottom right. Uh, um, yeah, it's on a blank layer. Oh yeah, yeah. That's I what see the two layers. Is. Layer one and background. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now go to the paint bucket tool, not the paint brush, but the paint bucket, and like basically fills up the screen. Which and is right we... below eraser. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, here I'll just uh, can I just go with you. I... Okay. Yeah. Fill it up, and then. Put so it fill it below. up on which layer? Oh, on the one that's selected. Just like click there. You should be right. Okay. That made it black. Okay. Uh, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And then, um, could you do me a favor where it says uh, background on the layers mm -hmm. panel? Yes. Could you double click on that? Okay. 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 It basically like turns it into like a layer that we can use. Uh, press OK. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then put the photo of yourself, um, that layer, on top of the black layer. Okay, so I just move it up. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, and then we take the eraser. Okay. And then we just uh, start uh, erasing uh, the photo. And it just background. becomes black. Okay, so so I just yeah. draw basically. Is that what you want me to do? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Although, um, like, there I'm should just be like a quicker way to do this, but okay. Yeah, so there is a quicker way to do this, but I wanted to like show you like how this uh, all works. Do you like understand uh, like the basics of like how to cut someone out? Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So, uh, okay, I think we can stop this now. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I want you to do instead is to take the uh, mouse and click a uh, V. This okay. like switches to the pointer. Okay. And then click on the photo of yourself. Yes. So that way you're on the layer photo. And then uh, press W or this. Wait, wait, I'm, uh, I'm on the bottom. picture layer or the, the other layer? You're on the picture layer. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Press W, you said? Uh huh. And okay. then up on the top, you should see something that says select subject. Mm -hmm. I do, yes. Okay, click on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, I want you. Oh, to... yeah, now it's like, okay, now it's letting me select it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll go to edit. Uh, mm -hmm. copy. Yep. And I'll okay. put it on layer one. And then uh, edit and paste actually, and it should create it as its own edit, uh, and... layer. Wait, so so I clicked edit and then I clicked paste. Control V. Uh, yeah. Okay. You copied it already, right? Okay, that was pasted. So. Let me, let and me then the layers, yeah. 
Okay. And then hide the layer. You see these eyes? Wait, so uh, I'm, I'm a little confused. Oh, no, no, you have it right. Okay. Um, it's just that the one below it is showing. Okay. So uh, you see where it says layer zero on yours? Mm -hmm. uh, click on the eye next okay. to it. It's like oh, okay, OBS. Okay, I yeah. see. Okay. Okay, yeah. now, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we're going to use the eraser tool. Okay. To uh, basically, uh, like, uh, erase all the flaws that are in it. And okay. uh, at this point, uh, it might be easier to use the soft round instead of the hard round. Okay. And so the eraser rush. Remind me, how I, I, I just click anywhere, and then I change the size, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I what's up? Totally don't want to interrupt, but I finally mm -hmm. got my OBS working, so I'm very, very, very far behind. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry, I'm I'm totally new to this, so I I mean okay. you you you're all like way ahead of me, so it's all good. Oh no, yeah. I mean I literally just got your picture to pull up. That I'm like super oh, wow. far behind. Oh yeah. okay, okay okay. okay. <laughs> if if mm -hmm. we could just do like a little quick recap, that would be awesome. Okay, so um. Uh, oh, sorry. That's okay. I'm gonna restart. I, from I'm the trying very to beginning. figure out if I can remember how to do it now from the get go. Like I I want to okay. see if I can do it, Jaron. Okay. Let me see if okay. I can get I'm, back there. I'm gonna create a new document. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 by 80, 720. I'm going to uh, take Hikara's photo because it's the easiest one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I'm going to press W or the wand tool here. I'm going to click on select subject. Wait, can I ask a quick question? Mm -hmm. For some reason, when I opened the picture, it didn't open on the like custom size that I made. It just opened in a different tab. Okay, okay. Let's, uh, you can either drag it. Well, the way that I did it was I dragged it, but if you do it mm -hmm. your way, uh, mm -hmm. I think it'll be like the same, uh, it'll be like the same method. More or less, you're, you're here. And then we'll just, uh, click the magic wand tool. Mm -hmm. We'll select the subject. And then we're going to do control C for copy. And uh, then we're going to go. Oh, ooh, I'm still looking for the wand. Okay, okay. So it's the fourth one down on the toolbar. The fourth one down on the toolbar for me is a little cursor with a box with dotted lines around it. Okay. How does it look like this? Uh, uh, maybe this? Oh, yes. Okay. Select okay, okay. Cool, All right. Cool. Thank you. As long as you have this, yeah, we should be fine. Yes, and then, like okay. And then we'll control C. And then let's go back to um, the 1280 uh, uh, image. Or do you not have a new document uh, with this size or no? Uh, yes, I have the 1280-721. OK, OK. What we're going to do is we're going to paste uh, Hikaru's head in this uh, document. Now it's going to look really big. <laughs> yeah, I thought I did it wrong because it, it was really big. <laughs> OK, OK. So then we're going to press Control t I believe it's also uh, the transform uh, tool. I actually don't know where it is. Yeah, <laughs> Never done okay. that one. And then we're just going to take one of these, uh, like, where there's, like, a little square dot. I'm just going to shrink it down and... Uh... Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Yeah. That's way easier than I thought it would be. Yep. So that, so, like, remind, remind me to make the subject small. You, you, it's uh... a... What, what, what is it again? C control plus, was it? No. Oh. Oh, control T. Control T. This, okay. Yeah, this is a transform tool. Wait. Okay. Okay. Are we all here or not yet? Uh, I just got it resized. Okay. Great. So, um, this is Hikaru. <laughs> uh -huh, we right. have him. He's in white space. Uh, if you're really into anime there's like this uh, technique animation technique that i stole uh where uh basically you can do something called uh layer options we'll uh, click on the layer uh we'll right click actually uh click on the layer and uh click on blending options layer and blending. okay and then we'll go to inner glow wait sorry how did you get to the blending options oh oh sorry uh uh on layer one what's that okay uh, actually, your layer two. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, on the bottom right corner, we will right click, and then we'll go to blending options. Ah. Uh, um. Okay. Yeah. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
once we're here, we're looking for the style called uh, Inner Glow. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what this does is like, you know, if you're lazy with cutting out or something, it basically like fades out the glow and it kind of makes it look like you're like in front of a very bright light. <laughs> okay. And, and then we can adjust uh, the size and the choke of it. Uh, do you see uh, where I'm playing on the elements? Uh, I, I, let, let, let me move this out. Go ahead. Playing an element? Oh, yeah. Yeah. How are you manipulating it like that? So uh, there's a bar that says size. And, uh... Oh, I see. Okay. I'm All completely right. lost. I okay. Uh, we need to get you back to the blending options. Yeah, uh, I'm, you... I'm in the blending options. You're, you're, I mean, you said the inner glow, and you just press OK to that, right? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I'm just adjusting the waiting. Uh, Jaren, see... Jaren, I've just got mm -hmm. a quick question for you. Oh, of course, of course. Hypothetically, if I was trying to, I don't know, mask someone's hair over the face of another individual, how would I go about doing that? Okay, we're going <laughs> we're going straight from like training wheels to like maybe unicycling <laughs> with Jared, no handlebars. Jared, I am unicycling down <laughs> a very <laughs> steep hill with absolutely no protective gear. Okay, okay. So, uh let me meet you uh halfway there. Uh could do you know enough Photoshop uh to like cut out someone's face without their hair? Just I uh I do. Okay. So, let me go ahead and uh what I would do is do something like this, and then copy that. Uh, okay. Hikara, you don't need to. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't need to follow this. Okay. Copy this, and then take the eraser tool, and uh, okay. use a soft round, and then uh, well, I guess whatever subject is there, right? You're gonna put uh -huh. it there. You're gonna try to align the eyes and the nose with uh, the the subject that you have. Okay, I think I got it. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. All right, yeah. Hikaru is confused, and I see that face. <laughs> but we'll get you there. We'll get you to mm -hmm. speed. Trust me, trust me. Anyway, um, so we're here. It's an inner glow. This is a great, like, I've done this thumbnail so many times, just letting it know. Uh, it That's takes, so cool. yeah, it takes 30 seconds. Uh, another thing I can do, uh, I'm going to erase the, the effects and inner glow. Or actually, I'm going to change it. Uh, I'm going to uncheck Inner Glow in the blending options. By the way, you can reach this menu by double clicking on it. And uh, another basic one is uh, Drop Shadow. This like helps uh, things pop out. And when you're working in thumbnails, like popping things popping out is good. <laughs> you want that, 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 that's, that's, that's also that's also the blending thumbnail? options, right? Yeah, it is. Oh, sorry. What was that? That's also the blending I options, right? Star thumbnail, and I want everyone to see it. <laughs> I happy. just laughed out loud, Kelsey. It's so. It's so <laughs> Is it in the? Right? <laughs> it's, it's in the Discord, in like the general my, chat. My chat shows the title. Guys, this is a work of art. <laughs> Incredible. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, give me a sec. Not bad. Not bad. I need to step my game up. Thank you, Kelsey. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Tell you what, I'll actually teach uh, you guys how to do this stuff now. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. I'm honored. I'm All sure right. I'm 10 times faster than I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, back, to, back to your regular air. I'm watching Hikaru's stream right up, by right, the way. Okay. So that way, mm -hmm. uh, this helps. We're going to do, uh, instead of uh, uh, drop shadow, actually, I think we'll still do that, but We'll also add a stroke, a uh, layer style stroke. What, what, and, what, what option is that in? Uh, layer style uh, here. Do you see it? No, I don't see it on yours. OK. Uh, that, that's on the same like menu that we found inner glow on, right? Yeah, it's, that's where it should be. It so should so be so above the inner shadow. Effects. OK, so it's blending effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where, then we're going to set the I didn't, color I didn't actually to... see it. Um... Oh. Dark, you said dark shadow, right? No, no, stroke. Oh, it's above inner shadow. Oh, oh stroke. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna take it, uh, change it to white. And it's actually a little hard to see on my screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put like a change it to white. Where? Oh, 
uh, on the stroke. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, change the color to color to, yeah. to white. To where so, uh, uh, I'm watching a Kara stream. Uh, let's see. You have like two strokes going on right now because uh, you accidentally like, clicked on the plus sign. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, underneath, there's a trash can, and this will like delete the the extra one, or you can uncheck it too. Okay, I'll just, I'll just do it again. Okay, I'll just okay. do it again. Okay. Wait, what just happened? Now it's gone. One second. Let me let me, let me just re- let me just redo it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Wait, the stroke show up again? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah I got, it, I got, it. yeah. Okay, so, okay, okay, make mm-hmm. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, mm-hmm. uh, let's choose uh, eight. Yeah, let's choose eight. Eight uh, for, for the size. For the size, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then make sure the position is outside. Okay, position. Okay, it yeah. says mm-hmm. inside for right. yours. Okay. okay. Yeah, inside was real scary for a minute there. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then we'll uh, add a drop shadow so that way we can like uh, pop it out. It kind of looks like a die cut sticker. That's the way that like where's, I, where's I the drop? Called. Where's the drop shadow? Oh, it's uh, on the layer style on the same uh, list as stroke. You mean in it? Oh, 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 right down at the bottom. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, add that. Uh, make the color black. And color. then increase the size. The color is black you... already, but okay. Okay. okay and so then increase inc- the size. You said. Yeah. Um, can you move your window to the left, maybe, or the right? Just like so that way you can still see your face. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if I and make then, the size right, yeah, make the size until you like see like a definite shadow. And I'm also gonna have you change your stroke color to white because you still have it at black. It looks like. Ooh, How do I, I change don't... it to white? Sorry. Okay, go back to stroke and then color and mm-hmm. white. Where's uh, white? Uh, it's at the top left corner of this square. Oh, 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 uh, oh, if you okay, click okay, on okay. it, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, okay, I see it. Okay, yeah, all right, okay, mm-hmm. all right, and then we're gonna go back to drop shadow because we the drop shadow isn't big enough to show up. Okay, yeah. So now, now uh, I make it bigger. Still yeah, on. make it big until you can see it. Uh, oh, could I have you, you change the opacity from thirty five to a hundred percent? Okay, sure. I have a quick question. Mm-hmm. I had set the background for some reason. I don't know why I did this to transparent when I made it. Um, is is there a way that I can change it so the stuff that we're doing is a little bit more visible? Because like I can see the drop shadow, but it's not as stark of a contrast as it would be if the background of the image was like a full color. So uh, yeah, uh, the background, right? Right. I, I had it on white to show you the first thing, but what we can do is create a layer underneath it. Okay. Um. Uh, sorry. Uh. <laughs> control Shift N <laughs> to create a layer. Control Shift N. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then drag that layer uh, below everything. Uh. Not the background one. Okay. It, let's just make it black for now because we're gonna make the stroke uh white. So, Jaren, I had a question. You said the size makes a difference, but if I click on the uh, spread, that actually makes it a lot darker. Does that uh, matter? Yeah, the spread is is good too. I was gonna do that one, but the the spread is like the darkness, and I kind of like want uh, I like the softer shadows. But uh, like, if you wanted to pop out, like a dark uh, spread is also good too. Okay, all right. Yeah. So okay, so I, I got I got a background. Okay, yeah. Okay. So going back for just a little step, I missed how you did the color of the background. Can we? Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Um, no, that's okay. Uh, over here. Mm-hmm. I think yours is going to show up as a gradient at first. Oh, like yes, that? it does. Yeah. Okay. So uh, click on it, hold it, and then go to Paint Bucket Tool. Oh, I see. Okay. Then uh, click on the swatch, uh, the one on the top. Uh, change it to black. Okay. And then... Oh, cool. All right, awesome. we got it. Thank you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go back to Ikara. So, uh, actually, could I have you do the same thing? Where, uh, yeah, create a layer, uh, drag it underneath, and then make it black. Or okay. actually, you have one already, it looks like. Uh, it's layer one. Just uh, add, uh, make it visible by clicking the box on the mm-hmm. left of it. Okay. Where the eye would be. Okay. 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 Mm-hmm. So, if you notice, um, like, there's, like, these lines over here. Right. Uh, and it's, like, it's basically... The, bla- the layer option, like saying, hey, there's uh, data there. I need to like uh, stroke that as well and <laughs> add drop shadow to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to erase it. This okay. is why I uh, taught you the eraser tool. Mm-hmm. 
mm-hmm. we're gonna just like take the eraser and just delete the everything that's like yeah so oh not uh this is uh undo that for okay. a second okay sorry i i forget okay mm-hmm. uh and then click on the layer with your photo uh layer two yeah okay mm-hmm. and then you can start erasing ah okay 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 good yeah and uh hard round is probably the one that you want to use because that'll be well, easier what do you mean to by like hard round? Oh, uh, right click uh, the brush itself. Sure. Soft round, hard round. That will uh, make it. Uh, uh, where's easier. soft or hard? Wait, you said click the brush itself. I didn't. I don't understand. What? Yeah, general brushes uh, from there. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, go to hard round uh, once you click on. Ah, there we go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 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 And that that's that's that, that's a lot quicker for erasing, right? Yeah. And okay. uh, you see how there's like extra. Uh, like stroke width it, like it looks really thick at the top of your head mm-hmm. it's because uh photoshop uh when it did select subject it like got a bunch of uh your hair in the way that's like faded so it's like trying to read that so we're gonna clean it up by making a smaller brush like just changing the size of your brush and just like mm-hmm. yeah cleaning up as uh you were while okay, i was talking so about that how, how to make it smaller i just click the smaller size right yeah, yeah. okay Wow, this is a very uh, difficult, shall we say? Yeah, I can't. I can't get it perfectly. There's no yeah. chance. No Would chance of getting it perfectly. <laughs> since I was troubleshooting, oh, okay. I was troubleshooting oh, earlier during the eraser tool bit. Would you mind walking me through that? Okay. Um, which part are you at right now? Um, I was changing my background color, and I have the drop shadow, and I have the outline looking all good. Uh, I just want to do what you're doing now with erasing the excess bit around hair okay i'm gonna go to your stream for a second uh how's how's it looking give me a second i'm gonna show you what what we're working with too because let me know when you're here okay i think i'm I'm pretty good actually i'm good give me a sec i'm uh i'm uh watching an adobe ad right now (laughs) (laughs) i'm seeing your stream (laughs) okay very fitting yeah Okay, so uh, for Hikaru, um, one thing I'm realizing is that the mm-hmm. the stroke is actually I think it's thicker on uh, on the the sample one that we're gonna copy. Okay. So I'm gonna switch it up. Well, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Hikaru layer on top. I'm going to basically try to match the size. And uh, if you look in this layer box, there's an opacity thing. I'm gonna like. Basically fade it to like 75, 76, so I can see and just try to match it uh, to the face. Wait, so how, how did uh, you do that? Okay, uh, opacity. Which is? Uh, uh, on the layer box, opacity fill. These, I, I'm not making very much sense, but do you see it? Uh, on le- uh, no, you, you mean the, you mean the uh, pull down, drop down menu, or just you mean on the side? Oh the dr- oh the way that I'm doing it sorry <laughs> if you click on opacity and then hold it you can uh, move it left and right uh, where, to where basically mm-hmm. okay the word opacity if you click on it and drag you can change the opacity really fast this is like something that saves a bunch of time well I, I must uh, wait where I don't I actually don't see the word oh you don't see the word opacity give me a second uh let's see so I see that you already found it, right? Or, or is that is that my stream? Oh, that's that's yours. Sorry, that's yours. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Can I see yours? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. So uh, on the layers. Oh, so uh, it's, you... it's under the. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So click on the word opacity. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then uh, drag left and right, and then try to match it to the thumbnail that. Uh, uh, was already made. It's in the Discord, and the uh-huh. easiest way to like get that image is to uh, go to Discord, uh, uh, like click on it, and then cl- uh, click on copy image, and then you right. can just uh, paste it uh, back there. And sorry, I just realized I I left a uh, mega put... oryx uh, <laughs> on hold. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh, hi. Are, are you still there? Yes. Hi. Okay. Sorry about that. I was uh, sitting through the ad. So no, let's see. You're okay. Okay, so it looks like, yeah, we're at the part where uh, uh, we're basically uh, fixing up the stroke. Yeah, and then 
after that, we we want to add this in somewhere. That's what my chat came up with. So we're we're working on. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, <laughs> background color. I'm glad that is it's the Shrek. It's Shrek. <laughs> oh, there's Shrek is like an onion. Um, okay. Okay, so uh, we're gonna use the eraser tool. So I, I'm talking to Nego Arcs, okay, by the way. Sure. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna use the eraser tool to. Okay. Uh, Basically, uh, race around where Hikaru is, uh, because the stroke is like a little thick for some reason. Yeah. It's like the data that uh, the blending option is like trying to use is uh, it's just like it's there's too much. So we're gonna go to the eraser tool on the top mm -hmm. or uh, sorry, not the top, the left side, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna change the size of the brush so it's like say somewhat smaller. Ooh, how do I? I, I clicked on the eraser tool, but I missed how to change the size. Okay, we're gonna right click on the canvas itself. Oh, okay. And then, um, I guess okay. it doesn't show up on the stream, but uh, yeah, you can change to something smaller and then just uh, trim around uh, Hikaru's uh, uh, face. And it sort of like cleans it up a bit. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh no, I'm a perfectionist. I would do this for way too long to get it like perfect. This looks so good though. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. Yay. Okay. And okay. then, uh, okay. So now that I've gotten that cleaned up a little bit better, do you potentially have suggestions for how I can make my chat happy with working in this photo? Okay. So you do have the Shrek. <laughs> I do. I do. Okay. Although I forgot how to move it over. What was it again? So uh, you can take uh, click the layer itself. Actually, press V. Sorry. V. Uh, okay. Yeah. This basically changes to the move tool. Okay. And you can just drag it from one, and then you see where the tab is, like the Chrome tab, like of Photoshop. I don't know how oh. else to describe it. Yeah. You just drag it from one to the other. Oh, I don't know if I did it right. I didn't see it pop up. Am I dragging it from the layer? Yeah. Uh. uh does that work? Give me a sec. No, that or does it? It oh, does. It does. I, I, don't, oh. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm dragging it. All right, chat. Let's let's wait. Let me see. Work. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You still there, Hikaru? Yeah, yeah, I'm still here, yes. Mm -hmm. Can you hear me? Oh, uh, you're muted on mine. And... Oh, yeah, yeah, can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, there yeah, we sorry go. Sorry about that. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem. Uh, the, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to copy this thumbnail. Like, uh, okay. This is something that I sure. love doing, mm -hmm. just like figuring out how other uh, Photoshop artists just uh, like do their work. <laughs> and the easiest... Like Photoshop is great for it because you can basically uh, match it uh, with the one that you're working on using opacity and just I'm like sorry. and uh, putting it on. Uh huh. Okay. So, Kelsey? so what what am I doing here? Okay. So you're gonna use Control T to Kelsey, transform. Kelsey, me in gaming. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then try to resize it sorry, so sorry, that way. Sorry, Jaren, I didn't catch that. Resize. Okay. Do what? Uh, Control T and then resize it to the thumbnail that's uh, already there, the burrito aftermath okay. one. Yeah. And uh, a tip that I okay. like to use is like, the eyes are the easiest thing to match yeah. with. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Let me know when you're satisfied because I'm still watching the delayed stream. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit, I'm more or less satisfied, but not completely. Okay, okay. Uh, this is I think it's good uh, enough. Uh, this is totally being a perfectionist. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm already getting annoyed at myself. No, that's but... okay. Do you know what like a P versus NP problem is? It's like, how do you know when you're done, <laughs> done uh, trying to uh, solve this, right? <laughs> P versus NP is false, so yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, okay, whatever. All right, let's, let's okay. see. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. that's good enough. That's good enough. Okay. We're going to increase the stroke to maybe, uh, I think 
14. I think that'll be good. Okay. And then so increase the drop wait, shadow. How, how, okay. So this is under blending, right? It's under blending options, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So you're saying cr increase what? The size of the stroke to like, uh, increase it to like 14 maybe instead of eight. Uh, the stroke. Uh, click on stroke. Yeah. 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 Include. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. And then, uh, I'm still watching your stream right, to like okay. make it sure. Mm -hmm. uh, and then increase your drop shadow, I think. Just the size of it. Okay, this, the size too. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't well, yeah. you're you're the expert here. So like what um what like what uh like what are you looking for? Like maybe like a like maybe 30 or something. Just like it looks like it pops out like a like a paper image and for uh Wait. Oh, so, well, I'm trying. I'm just trying to understand. So, if I have it, what is the difference between thirty and eighteen? So, I'm look. I'm just trying to look at it like from your point of view. How, how can you tell there's a difference there? Because it looks like the same thing to me. Like, what stands out to you? Okay, okay. So, spread is like the darkness of it, right? Uh -huh. It's kind of like like how much it goes to like as like okay. actual shadow, and then the size is like the the size of the soft the shadow itself. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was a good explanation. Sure. Okay, right. that, somewhat, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, so zero. Okay, so I went to 30, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, I think that should be, that should be good. That should be good. I think uh, I'm being, like, say, a perfectionist, too. <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, so that's fine. So l let's see. Can, can you help me try to create one, then? I guess, can, mm -hmm. can you give me, I don't have any images here, so can you give me, like, a random image to try and create it? Like, give me, I mean, like, the explosion or something, because I, I want to try to create oh, okay. one if we can. okay. So uh, the first thing is that we've been working in like a large, the, the large uh, document with mm -hmm. the original photo. Let's uh, get straight to the thumbnail size. So what I'm going to have you do mm -hmm. is uh, file new. Okay. How do I, I just un, un eye all of them, right? Uh, no, don't un eye them. Don't okay. un eye them. Okay. okay. This is, mm -hmm. Treat this like a new uh, tab in Chrome. <laughs> okay. So I click new. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to drag your face over. So wait, to... do I click custom or clipboard or what? Oh, sorry. Okay. Uh, click on uh, say the face. The face. You can like drag it with your. I mean, oh, you, sorry, said, sorry. you said click on file new, and then I mean it's a, just a custom picture, like twelve eighty by seven twenty, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm just making sure. Okay. 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 Right. And then uh, make sure you're in the move tool. Uh, where where the? Oh, sorry. Are. Okay. So like you're you're in a new document. Uh, mm -hmm. go back to the to the old one. Okay. Mm hmm. And then uh, gonna click on your face, and drag it over, and then hold your mouse over the, okay, the so, new so, tab. Okay, so I'm gonna. How, how do I grab my face? Um, uh, let's see. It looks like you're in the eraser tool. Uh, click on uh, the move tool, which is uh, V. Press V. Just press V. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and then click on your face, mm -hmm. and then you see your mouse. Like it's still there. Drag oh, it go. over yeah. the tab, yeah. and then yeah, it should be there. And to make it smaller is what again? It's contr uh, control T. Wait, what just happened? One second. Okay. Okay. It's just really big on on here. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I hit control T. Okay. Okay. And then I should be able to make it smaller. How do I make it smaller? Okay. Uh. Oh, there we uh, go. I need you to zoom out because uh, you're like. Very, you're you're zoomed into the document, right? I just made it screaming into the. Oh, sorry. What? Mm -hmm. Hello. Oh, yeah, can you I hear me? Question, but I'm gonna put a pin in it and come back in a minute. Sorry. Didn't okay. Sure. Okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm back to Hikaru. Um, I have two of them for some reason. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you can like drag it around. Wait, what's just uh, but I need you to like resize it. Oh, One second. You're, it's messed up. Okay. Yeah. Uh, press. Uh, How do I just second. delete this one image? I guess is a question. You can uh, press uh, delete uh, or backspace the layer itself. You want to just delete the? No, I mean, I mean, I have this one image that I want to delete within it. Uh, the layer or the? Well, I have the second the... image that's like all messed up. I guess. Yeah. Just uh, it looks like you're you have it selected already. So just delete it. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, press delete and it should. Uh, or you can like right click and uh, go to. Uh, okay, okay, it's gone now. I guess. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now, um, trying to, I'm trying to like figure out what's the easiest way to get you back on track. Um, press H. Okay. Oh, actually, you you already have the canvas out. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So uh, resize it so that way your face. So you uh, hit Control T, right? Is that, is that uh, resize? yeah. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, like you see the bar that's there, or uh. Oh, okay. Okay. There we give go. Give me a second. Okay. Whoa, there's two. Yes, there are two of me. Not just okay. One. <laughs> we'll delete. We'll delete one of them. <laughs> okay. That's big brain Hikaru right there. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, let's. Did you undo it? I tried to undo it, but now I I did something else. Okay. Yeah, this is okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. No, no, I got. I um, no, it's still there. Still there. There's okay. still two of me. Okay. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's that's how I do it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got it. Yeah, there's just me. All right. Um, let's see. Do you want to do the an explosion background? Just sure. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the Adobe folder, uh, there's a folder called uh stock images, okay, you, and then. Oh, is there is there a way you can just give it to me? Oh, sure, sure. Because uh, I I didn't see that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put it in the Discord. Suck. Mm-hmm. Okay, there we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Avali just made a great thumbnail, by the way. <laughs> okay. Okay. So so okay so so now I just copy it, right? I copy it and then. Mm-hmm. I caught. Wait, wait. How do I copy it? Um. Oh. All right. So so how how do I, it froze up? Give me one second. Okay. This one you might actually have to download because it's a really big image. Oh, uh, I, I did download. Okay. So I click on File New. Then is that what I do? Um. How do I add the image? You uh, you can open up in the in the folder, the file browser, and then drag it onto uh, Photoshop. Okay, one second. Okay. Also, we're sure. gaining viewers. This is crazy. <laughs> okay, so so I put this here. Okay. Uh huh. Okay, and and that's fine. Uh, okay, that's good. Yeah. Okay. And then all right. Control. Wait, that's not the what I want. Um, then I select the layer. Control T. Wait. How do I do this? Wait. What's the layer with my face? I'm just trying to figure this out. I'm pretty close. Should to be actually. layer one. This. Yeah, I think it's layer one, and then you want to drag that layer in that box to uh the top on top of the explosion okay it's layer one okay so i i, I move it up okay mm-hmm. okay. Oh, okay and now i hit Control t and now i can move the image okay good 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 okay now yeah. now now i think i'm starting to get somewhere finally okay yeah. now it's getting better now it's getting much better okay mm-hmm. okay okay and then uh make it bigger but also uh your opacity is uh still uh you're still transparent because of uh, what we were doing uh before okay yeah and then uh, for the thumbnail, like uh, okay, I so, think so I now would... I click on opacity, right? And I make it more, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Make it to all the way to a hundred percent. I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then uh, basically enlarge yourself until you're like I don't know. You have a good crop of your face. It's okay. uh, we'll call it a David Lotta photo. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. That's the way that he does it. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. And then uh, there's like a black. Or there's a white background behind you. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're gonna enlarge the explosion big enough so that way it like it just like covers the whole thumbnail. Okay, so now I click on that layer, right, and then I Control uh-huh. T, and then I make it bigger. Yeah, oh, and this is uh, easy. now I'm now I'm actually starting to get it. Okay, and then I just put my face behind it. Yeah, yeah, easy. There we go. We have our thumbnail. Very easy. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. Wait, what did I just do? I just messed it up. I I I got to uh, I got I got to um. Too, too arrogant. Okay, one second. Okay, so wait, but so so okay. So wait, do you want it on the side or or, or how are we doing this? I wanted to fill up the entire rectangle. Okay. Um, yeah. You you're gonna need to like. Uh, you, you mean like? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. More. Wait. <laughs> right. which yeah. Happened? There we go. Wait. What just huh? happened? Wait. Wait. Wait a second. One second. No, wait. No. Uh. One second. What did I just do wrong? Okay. Um. Okay. Take your time. All right. All right. So I make it bigger than this. Okay. No, but I was thinking, okay, so that's, okay, so there we go. All right. Mm-hmm. Now I hit escape, right? To, 
or not? Oh, press enter, enter, not escape. Escape oh, redoes everything. That's okay, why I, was, I, keep I was hitting it. escape. Okay, so I hit en okay, oh, okay. enter. I was hitting escape. That's why I got messed up. Okay, it's enter, enter to finish it. Okay, so escape reverts to enter means you okay, enter. Okay, got it. All right. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, but now this looks bad. So wait, so now I should go to layer one, and I should actually wait. But I, I look terrible here. Wait a second. Um, okay, I think the reason that you look terrible is because uh, they're white lines, right? Yeah, you don't want to like show the the boundary line, say that bottom line. So, so, you wait, so, like, so what, what did I do wrong then if we go back to the start? Because I, that, I am pretty sure that was one of the steps you said. Oh, um, the white line? To add the white line, yeah. To, I think it was to get a background. I think it was to get it, because get we were going to cut it and move it somewhere else. I. No, no, this is uh, right, at least what I see on the stream right now. Uh, if you go back to my stream. Sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, it's a matter of like rearranging the pieces, and uh, the way I do it is like you kind of want to like have the border. Uh, you don't want to like show the the flat uh, white border uh, that like you know this this bottom of you know? right and right. just like enlarge it so it's like maybe uh -huh. there, and then I'm gonna resize this explosion so like you can see like more of the action of it so it's like that. <laughs> Like that's how right, I but would. But uh, still, your thumbnails are better than this. There isn't a white line, though. Okay, so, so how uh, do I get rid of the white line? We're gonna. Because I want to get rid of it, right? It doesn't look right, does it, or not? It's it's a stylistic thing. I think uh, oh, if we really? wanted to copy, if we wanted to copy the the one that was made, uh, give me a sec. Who made it? <laughs> uh, the one that Kelsey made. That's uh, the way that she did it. Uh huh. Um, give me a sec. Oh, so you are supposed to the white line. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay, you are. Okay. Huh. Okay. So, uh, there's that. Uh, do we want to keep, like, making uh, her thumbnail first, and then I'll leave you to, uh, to make sure. uh, yeah, yeah, other okay, thumbnails? Sure, okay. All right, okay. Okay. So, what I see here is that, uh, uh, she did text. Uh, do you want to do text? Well, okay, how do I add text? Yeah, with, like, I'll just, I'll use the explosion for now, because that's what I've used. Okay, so um, we'll choose a font, say, I can't actually figure out which one that is off the mm -hmm. top of my head, but maybe it's like impact uh, italic. Maybe. Oh, so, so wait, where, where is text? Oh, okay, good. Sorry, <laughs> too fast. So text is this T on the left side. Oh, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I should see this instantly. What, 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 oh, there it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... Uh, I see that there's actually two text boxes, but we'll worry about the first one first. You see how there's, uh, like, one is uh, white, one is, uh, like, a sort of gradient? Okay, so or... it's the horizontal type tool, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we will, uh, say, create burrito. <laughs> okay, so okay. So how do, I, how do I add it? I just, like, start typing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to look at your stream, actually, because... Uh... Yeah, just type burrito. I just did. and it will be it'll be hard to see. And then we're gonna press we're gonna highlight it. Okay. So you kind of like uh, uh, maybe Control A. It's like select all. Okay. Yeah, I hit Control A. Okay. Okay. And then uh, do you see at the very top there's a box? It's a black box because it's black. But we'll click on it and we'll change it to white just so that way it's easy to see. Okay. Ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. And then uh, we're going to uh, turn it all caps. And the easiest way to do that is to go to, uh, let's see. Yeah, you do have it. It's on the right side. It's the one with the A, and it says character. Uh, the one with the A. Uh, on the right toolbar. If there's like a left side for the, for the tools, there's a right side for like properties. Um, Apparently boring, uh, but I mean, I, okay, I can just, I can just do it the easy way. Anyway, all right. Okay, um, go ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna uh, right click on the layer itself because it looks like okay. uh, Kelsey mm -hmm. added uh, blending options to it. So I click on blending options, right? Yeah, and then uh, she added a black stroke, and it looks like a gradient, uh, a gradient on top of it. So uh, we'll add a stroke. Uh, Color should be black, though, right? Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm Yeah. It looks ugly now. But right. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, uh, 
press OK and let's make the the text uh, bigger. And the easy way to do that is just to Control T. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, and make it to like sixteen. Yeah, or or just change the size of it. And if you can make it bold instead of uh, regular, that would be okay. great. You see mm -hmm. where it says regular? Mm -hmm. uh, if you click on that and uh, make it bold instead. Bold in like sixteen. Okay. Okay. Actually, I think I might have you redo it because uh, it's not uh, applying the changes to the text because it's not highlighted. Oh, so I have to okay. highlight it and then do it? Okay. Yeah, uh, I still don't think it's highlighted. Like, if it's not oh, there changing. We go. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there you go. It. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. All okay. right. And then switch to bold as well. Right. Okay. All right. So that's burrito. And then uh, maybe make it like a little bigger. Actually, a lot bigger, like the size of, say, uh, if you click on it, uh, you're at 16, maybe 32. But I just forgot how I did that one second. Oh, it's Control-T, okay. you said. Control-T, yeah. Okay, make it 32, you said? Yeah, either by the number or just, like, uh, drag it to make it bigger. Uh, say, mm -hmm. yeah, let's... Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, 36. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, the stroke is a little too thick for me. Um, I prefer to, like, have the stroke, say... Uh, Right, like so now, smaller, I go, I go, now I go back to blending options, right? And now I go back to uh -huh. stroke, and now I make it smaller. Okay. Yeah. Right, okay. Maybe, maybe like eight or there. Yeah, I think like eight is, yeah, eight is pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, we're going to add a, a gradient overlay on top. Let's go back to blending options. We're almost there. Okay. Almost there. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. Uh, where it says, uh, Radiant overlay is it's right on the same list as stroke, so it should be uh four down from stroke. Uh, a gradient overlay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, it looks like she used the white and gray, and uh, I'm gonna try to find it. It's in one of the presets. Uh, a sec. Yeah, neutrals. So uh, click on the double click on the gradient, like the, the actual color. Mm -hmm. itself and then move it over or... okay. actually yours is already there <laughs> okay. i think it's already applied my bad <laughs> and then okay. press okay mm -hmm. and then we're, we're done with the word burrito so gradient, is, so gradient is what changes like the it changes the color of the text is it yeah in fact okay. uh it's the color of like you can do this with all of the layers that you do mm -hmm. so like it basically takes the shape and then applies that gradient over it okay okay then uh, we're going to create, is it, what was the word? Aftermaths. Oh, 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 that, I finally got it. <laughs> I didn't actually realize what this meant. <laughs> okay. okay. So the easiest way to do this is uh, we can actually copy the word burrito. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and the easy way to do it is to uh, right click on the layer itself. Click on duplicate layer. Uh, duplicate layer, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Press OK. Mm -hmm. And then you should be able to, like, like you see there's a copy. You can just drag it down directly underneath it. Underneath the initial one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then uh, on the actual image itself, you can drag it, like, below the, below the word burrito. So now you have burrito, burrito. Drag what below burrito? Sorry. Okay. So there's a copy. Mm -hmm. You can uh, take it and just drag it down uh, below. Below what? Oh, uh, on the image itself, on the canvas, you have like two burrito, two of the word burrito stacked on top of each other. Oh, okay. How do so, I drag uh, it? You can, oh, uh, use the move tool. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep using the move tool without like where? that. Okay, uh, it's on the very top left on the toolbar. Mm hmm Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's important. Okay, so yeah, so I just delete this then, right? Or not? Uh, don't delete it. Don't delete okay. it. We're mm -hmm. going to change the text from burrito to aftermath. Oh, okay, okay. Um, let me see if I remember how to. I think it's Control T. You said no, it's not Control T. I just changed yeah. the text. How do I change? You the can text? you can double click it uh, okay. to like get into the text changing mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Enter right. Yeah, and then it looks like she puts um, a different gradient overlay, and uh, the easiest way to fix that is to uh, mm -hmm. you see on the layer. Uh, there's aftermath, there's effects, there's stroke. You can click on, you can double click on gradient overlay. 
One second. I'm just trying to get get it just right. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. All right. So what, what do I click on? Okay. I uh, double click on where uh, you see the word aftermath. Mm -hmm. Effects, stroke, and double click on gradient overlay. Wait, uh, double click on after. Okay, okay, gradient overlay, right, exactly. And it's white, so. We're going to we'll... click on the color. Uh huh. And then we're going to go into the. Oh, you mean the, the white, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I can change it to anything. Yeah, and uh, I think she did like an orange and red, and that should be in the reds folder, or orange folder, actually. Oranges, okay. Yeah, and uh, I, oh, see I see a swap. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. The fifth one. Wow. And then I do the same thing. With this one, I double click, right? I get the gradient and then I change it to the same thing, right? Click on the color. I go to the oranges. Mm -hmm. uh, keep it white, actually. Oh, Unless you do want to change it. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, the top I one's white. Like, for... If I try to make one after this, then it's good. Then it's good. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's an approximation of. Uh, wait, wait. Give me a second. I actually like it. I like it in the same color. All right, okay. I did like it. Let, let, me, let me click on it again. Okay, yeah, right. yeah, this is good, though. Okay, so there's one last thing I got to uh, show you uh, for uh, this thumbnail, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I should be able to, like, uh, let you loose. Okay. Um, it's, uh... I'm trying to figure out how to describe it. So, uh, we can take uh, colors and uh, put them on top of uh, images, and it kind of like blends it together. If you look at the original uh, Brito Aftermath, mm -hmm. you notice there's like this orange uh, flare like right on top of uh, your face. Like it kind of like gives oh, it an yeah, effect. Yeah, 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 right above it, yes, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. See that? So uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, how about... Uh, I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do this. Uh -huh. Okay, we'll do it this way. Okay, we're gonna create a layer. Okay, Good, so, uh, so watch new, my so, so new layer, right? Oh, you want me to watch yeah. your stream? Yeah, watch. Uh, mine. Okay, sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I created a new layer, layer six. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool, which is the eye, and I'm gonna get say an orange from the explosion. Eyedropper is where? Sorry, I, I can't see it on your screen. Uh, okay, it's uh well, maybe, over maybe, here. Maybe I messed it up, but I, I don't know. Maybe I messed it up. Let me just make it a little bit bigger on the other side. Oh, no problem. Yeah, yeah, um, that, that's why. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, eyedropper. Eyedropper, get, okay, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Get an orange from there. Eyedropper. And then I'm going to... I'm going to get, like, a like a big brush, maybe, like... Uh, Wait, which one was it? 480, maybe. Okay. And then uh, I'm just going to, like, draw a line down and it kind of like creates like it just looks like a more line, right wait, wait sorry I, I missed that because i was trying to find the eyedropper tool so i click on the eyedropper right and then what okay then i create a big brush from it how oh uh right click uh onto the canvas mm -hmm. oh oh sorry i'm in i'm in brushes now not the eraser but i'm in brushes oh you <laughs> said your eyedropper okay yeah so uh, the eyedropper just uh gets the color that you click on okay so, right? so i click on the brush tool you said right yeah, click on the brush tool, and then uh, right-click on the canvas, uh, size, something big, maybe uh, 500. So I click on brush fine. tool, brush tool, and then I make the size, wait, how do I do that? Uh, right-click. Oh, right-click on the canvas itself, okay, all right, and then yeah. you make the size like 500 or something, okay. Yeah, and then I'm just going to make a giant line down, <laughs> like uh, there, yeah, just like that. Okay. Okay. Or whoops. Are, are you showing mine or yours? I'm showing. I was showing yours, but I just, I just like made a disaster out of it. So I had to okay. It. No yeah, problem. I just, no problem. I did like. I just destroyed my face. Anyway. Okay. It's okay. Wait. So you oh, said 500. Oh, okay. oh mm -hmm. give me a second. Uh, I need you to make it on a new layer. I'm sorry. I always go to uh, fast because. Okay. Yeah, so so yeah. I so okay so I do a. Uh... Control Shift N. Okay. 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 And on this yeah. one, I now now what I do is now I click on the I click on the brush and I you draw oh, a line. I see then. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, it's, it's, too, it's black too big right for now. me. It's also too big. Okay. Okay. Um, um could you uh, change your color? Uh, it's the eyedropper thing again. Um, mm -hmm. 
So we're going to use the eyedropper to get an orange from the explosion. So it kind of like blends in. OK, uh, how do I do that? Uh, click on the explosion itself, not the black. OK. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. So you see there's like an orange swatch. Mm -hmm. OK. Then use that orange swatch. Uh, then go to the brush. And then draw that diagonal line down your face. OK. Kind of. Yeah. It's still too it's big, still though. Big. The, 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 the tool itself is too big. OK, you can resize it down to, say, maybe like 150. Yeah, 150 should be it's fine. way too big. Yeah, yeah, OK. Uh-huh. OK. Right, and now I can just brush it, right? Like, I could brush it like that. It's still probably too big, but yeah, I can brush it. Yeah. And, uh, like, for explosions, generally, it's, like, around your face or something. Uh -huh. But uh, it, it probably looks like nothing. It looks like you're just, like, putting orange looks, spray That looks really bad. I can do better. Um, I, I, I don't accept that. I expect better for myself. <laughs> um, okay. 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 All right. Yeah. It still looks bad, but anyway, okay. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry yeah. about it. Okay. So, um, on your layers, right? You see how you created one that's like layer two? That's like this orange uh, stuff. Okay, take the layer and drag it so that way Wait, it's which layer, sorry? Uh, layer two, the one with these orange splotches. Mm -hmm. And uh, drag it so that way it's directly above the one that uh, is your face. Yeah. The one that is my face. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think it. Oh, uh, that's layer Let's one. See. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I also should have taught you guys how to name layers. <laughs> but uh... it's fine. Okay, so it's, it's right above. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And then I want you to right click on it. And then go to create clipping mask. Um, on this layer? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you see it? Oh, now it's gone. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what this does is it basically says that uh, the layer below it is like a platform. And whatever you put on, say, what is the layer? Layer, the, this, this orange layer, mm -hmm. is going to like uh, go directly on top of this platform. Okay. So okay. Uh, if you like use the orange brush around, you can okay. do that. And then what I'm going to have you do right now, just uh, actually, could could you like put more orange? Because it's going to be hard to see. Because they're orange. Only... Okay. Yeah. Um, just um... go back to the paintbrush. Yeah. Wait, what did I do wrong? I just clicked on it. Do I have to go here? No, you, you should have it right. You're, you're still on the paintbrush. Now you're on eyedropper again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, I see. yeah. But I can, I can like barely see it. I can't actually uh, see it if it's on the other one. Yeah, so like, it's like go ahead and color around your face. Don't uh, try to avoid like the important parts, face like the eyes, nose, mouth. You want me to draw where my hair is? Uh, yeah, and then your ear maybe. Okay. And the top of your shoulder. What this okay. is is like it creates a lighting effect, and uh, I'll show you the magic uh, pretty soon. Okay. Okay, so I look like an angel or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna put uh our give me a sec where it says normal uh on the bottom right box. Do normal. you see where it says normal? No, I don't. Um, it's next to opacity. Oh, um, oh, there it is. Uh, okay, it's the yeah. left of it. Okay, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we make sure that the orange layer is uh selected, and then we go to soft light. Soft light. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool, cool, nice. Yeah, so there's all these effects. In fact, uh, like we can do hard light as well. Or okay, yeah, okay. basically it just like makes you look like there's an explosion and then there's lighting going off on your face. Uh huh. All right. Yeah. Okay. I think yeah. I want to. Can you give me another one of the images? I want to try and do something. Uh, okay. Stock okay. Images. I, I want to go. I, I want to see if I can do this. All right. All right. Um, do you remember uh, which streamer uh, you're going to be making a thumbnail for? Uh, I I'll I'll do uh. Um, Ovi, uh, 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 Ovili, Ovili. I'll try to do her. Okay. Okay. You can use the one that I cut out already. Um, mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And, I, I, I uh, had before. Can, how, how do I just, like, if I would just want to start over, I can just, I can just, uh, hit the recycle bin for each one or something. Oh, no, no don't delete it. Don't okay. delete it. <laughs> okay. This is your masterpiece. Okay. This is not my uh, masterpiece, but okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. By the way, do you want to save this and, like, uh, send it to Discord? Yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll save it. Okay, I'm gonna show you the easiest way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, oh, 
I am getting uh, confident though. I'm I'm getting oddly confident until I forget what to do. Okay, this is this is great. <laughs> this it's, is the best no, thing. No, it's not. I'm getting confident, which means I'm going to do something. I'm going to forget like the the steps immediately. Okay, okay. we're going to create a new layer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then yeah, control shift done, right? Yeah, and then make it the okay. very top one. Okay, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start naming it. This is for the next one, right? Or is this to save it? Okay, this is we'll call it the the uh huh. Uh, I, I blanked, blanked out. What do you call the final image? We'll just call it the final image. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, the, the, the Mona Lisa. The yeah, Mona, Mona Lisa. Lisa. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. And then I want you to press Control A. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, does that create like a bounding box? Yeah, yes, it selects it everything, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Then I want you to press Control Shift Alt E. Um. That sounds insane, okay. right? But yeah, I did. Yeah. Okay, now it's there. Okay. Yeah. I'll what it basically it, did I'll just it? Put it in my notepad. Don't worry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then press Control A again. Okay. Uh, Control C. So you're selecting okay. all of it, and mm -hmm. then you're copying it. Okay. And then paste it directly into Discord. Okay, into Discord. And, uh, okay. Yeah. All right, one second. And I just did mine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there we okay. go. All right, okay, good. Okay. All right. Oh, well, yeah. everyone else the... is doing... <laughs> I just saw the best. Okay, there's a really good one. I, I think I have to show this. I, I have to okay. show this. This is too good to, um, to, to not, not see. Um, Go ahead. I'm gonna put this on my on my monitor so everybody can see it. This is this is like this this <laughs> <laughs> this is really really good. I have to say this is like yeah this is this is uh I don't know who did the Shrek one you guys uh, you're still in the chat but that's like really really good really really good it's like awesome awesome all right okay so so okay let's let's get, let's let's get back to it right Jared all right yeah so uh, let's create an awfully thumbnail. Okay. Uh, Easiest way to do is the we'll just press control N. This creates a new document. Okay. Mm hmm Right. Now I just do custom right. Uh-huh. And it's uh, 12, 1280 by 720, which is good. Okay, yeah. there we go. All right, that's good. Okay, and now I'll find her image. Yeah. Um, uh you can use the one that I cut out already. Uh let me know if you don't have it. I think I have it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Good. Okay. That's good. Okay. Now we're on And you should roll. be able to All right. drag it directly in there. Yeah, yeah, it's in there. It's in there. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. in there. Okay, so now I guess like I I didn't download the the stock images. Can you? Um, uh, let's see. Yeah. Give me a sec. Doesn't matter. I I think I think I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. Uh, what kind of stock images do you want? Do you want me to just uh... something anime style? Anime style, I think. I, something anime style. Okay. Give me a second. I don't I don't think I actually included anything. Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh, anime in there, maybe like a. Uh, it's a okay. I mean... Let me see. Japanese school, maybe. Sure. I'm I'm on stock Adobe. Okay. And okay. Uh, let's see. There's a hallway. I'll show, I'll show yours. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Go okay. ahead. What did I What did I do wrong? Wait one second. Okay. Go ahead. Wait. Okay. Wait one second. Uh, let me let me change the scene back. Sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. All right. Just, just, sh just show me what you have. Okay. I'm on. Uh, um, uh, I'm sharing my screen, right? Yeah. Or are you? Screen. Mm -hmm. I see it. Yeah. Oh wait. Am I? Okay. It's fine. All right. Just pick something. It doesn't matter. So let's just pick something and let's let's just go 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 from there. Okay. Okay. I guess it's only showing the Photoshop mm -hmm. player underneath for some reason. Okay. But, okay. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm dragging out um, a photo. Yeah. It's of a Japanese uh, school hallway. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. And then take that. You can either save it or uh, right click. Uh, okay. And I copy, copy the image. It. Okay, and then I then I click a new layer, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do Control Shift N. Okay, okay. This will be back. I, like I'm gonna start naming this. Okay, okay. All right. So I click on it. Mm -hmm. And I do Control V, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. All right, we're we're getting somewhere. Okay, much better. Yeah. Good. So it's really big right uh -huh. now. Uh huh. Okay, right. Uh, 
Also, it was, uh, I think when you paste, it actually creates a new layer. This is something I've never, like, uh, actually realized. Oh, okay, but it, uh, so I'll yeah, turn so... that off. Okay, good. All right, yeah. okay. Okay. So, uh, we need to resize this. And uh, do uh, the control T to resize it? No, it's not letting me. Oh, because I have it on yeah. brush. Um, what, what do I have to change that to? Is it to move? Um, yeah, move. Okay, and then I do control T. Okay. Yeah. And then I, wait. Oh, you're selecting the background layer uh, or like the wrong layer. Okay, uh, so you need the background select... layer. Okay, okay, okay. Which one should be on top? Oh wait. Um, it should be uh her photo should be on top. Image should be on top. Background should be second. Okay, and then I do control. Wait. What do I? Wait, I think wait, there's wait. nothing in that layer, and uh, that's just a text uh, thing. You can delete that. Uh, why? Why is that showing up? I don't understand. Okay. Uh, you accidentally uh had the text tool. Okay. All right. Yeah. You can just delete that layer, and then layer one, well, mm -hmm. control T. And then we need to shrink it all the way down. Wait, why, uh, why is it doing this? I'm confused. What just happened? Oh, because you're on the type tool right now. Ah, um, okay, okay, okay. All right. Because uh, we keep trying to press Control T, and I think okay. uh, it keeps like trying to. Uh, okay, so so what do I go to? Uh, hold Control, and then T. Um, I'm pretty sure someone in chat's like, there's an easy way to <laughs> resize it down, but right, I've never okay. known one. So Control, and then. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, you need to press the layer itself or be on that layer. So layer one, like okay. highlight it. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. And then control T and that should be fine. There we go. All right. Okay. There okay. We you go. see the blue. Yes. Okay. Yes. There we go. Finally. Okay. So you have to highlight okay. the layer and then, then, okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. Good. Then just keep, uh, dragging it down. Right. Um, yeah. Someone in chat's probably like, <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's fine. <laughs> Mm hmm We're getting somewhere. Yeah. Wait, that's too small. Okay. Okay. Get it so that it fills out the whole box. Yes, there we go. All right. Enter. Good. Okay. There. That's good. And then because because her photo is like cut off on the left side, we will uh, move her photo. Um that's another type layer. Uh, mm -hmm. uh press B to go to the move tool. Okay. I press B. Or wait, oh, no, I go to move. Okay. V. So I want to v move for her. Vendetta. Yeah, to the left side. Because uh her she's cut off. Her left shoulder, right, right shoulder. Right, so cut she off. should be Yeah, okay. On the left side, left side. All the way to the left? Yeah. Ah yeah, yeah because then okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I see Wow, you're very good at this. Okay. And then we can also uh make her bigger so that way, like um, I don't know. It looks propor. Actually, it already looks proportional to the hallway. Okay, so like it kind of looks like she's already there. T and I, I can make her a little bit bigger, right? Yeah. That's too. Um. No, that's that's too small. Too sm Too small. Okay. I'll let you have discretion. Uh, yeah, this looks right. Okay, good. And now, yeah. What I might want to do is, do I want to add some text, or do I just want to? What can I do to spice this up? Yeah. Um it's very generic, but Yeah, I'm like trying to think. I didn't actually come up with the idea <laughs> first. Um That's tell you what, cool. I'm mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you uh because Shrek is the is the name of the game, I'm gonna give you a Shrek image. <laughs> okay. Okay, give but... me a sec. But like this, this is just adding images in. So if I'm trying to like uh let me see. So, so how do I add text exactly? I just click on text, and mm -hmm. then I write it, and then I write like whatever. Okay, color should not be orange. Color should be white. Okay, and what am I gonna call it? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, because this one's already transparent, I'm gonna have you uh, save it as an image uh, directly. And I, I put it in the in the Discord. Okay, put what in Discord? Uh, image of Shrek, <laughs> and we're gonna put Shrek in the hallway. <laughs> oh, we're oh, we're gonna put. Okay. All right. Okay. So I do this, and let, let me make sure I can do the Shrek part on my own, just so that I don't go ahead. So that, that I don't do anything weird. Okay. Not the image, and then I can just paste it in here, right? Or not. 
Someone in chat says that the the text should be get shreked. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> wait, okay. Wait, how do or wait, no, I should move yeah. this. Okay. Yeah, you can drag it uh uh oh, okay. yeah, using the move tool. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically the move tool is really, really important then. Yeah. When I do control T, I can make this a little bit smaller. This up here. Okay. There we go. All right. Close the tool. Very good. Enter. And then, yeah. Okay. So let me copy Shrek. Why wouldn't it let me copy him in? Okay. Um, because this is a transparent image already, I'm going to have you save the image instead okay, and then uh, mm -hmm. drag it into it. Drag uh, that file into uh, Photoshop. Okay. Sure. Whoops. Got a Shrek. Okay, so I drag him in. Oh, nice. Very nice. And now Shrek should make him a little bit smaller. Control T. Make him a little bit. Still a little bit. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Right in the background. Looks well, looks pretty good. Yeah. And then uh I don't know, we can give her heart eyes if you want. <laughs> oh, how we'll find you heart... change the eyes? Uh yeah, on uh Ovale. One second. Uh, well, let, me let me change find... the text actually. I think someone just said then they're right that it should be on it should be on two lines. How do I separate it? Okay, so uh press uh or double click on it and then press enter. Uh double click or, on the whole double thing. click on it and then no, sorry, put a space or uh, put your cursor in between the two words. Yeah, and yeah, then press it's, it's fine, it's fine, yeah. Oh, did you delete it all? Oh, yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm, very good, yeah. okay. And then uh, we can also center the text. So, um, like, select all. Uh, select all the text. Mm-hmm, and then I can just and use then... that tool. Yeah, okay, there we go. Yeah, do you see the... Yeah, there you go. There we go, all right, very good, okay. Mm-hmm. Then, actually, um, now it feels so easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> I changed the the color of the text uh, from mm -hmm. orange, maybe like white. And then I would also add a either a drop shadow or a stroke on it. So that way it, it like, sticks is, out better. And this is on the font, font layer, right? Yeah, on the font okay, layer. Okay, so I click on blending options, right? And then I go to gradient overlay. And you're saying you don't like the... Uh, wait, what were you saying you don't like? You don't like the, the color? Either the color or just a. Uh... Okay, let me see. What's a better? Let's see. We can do green. <laughs> Purple, maybe. I guess green. Yeah, green probably green. fits the best. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Okay. Very nice. And then you said add a add a drop shadow, right? So. Yeah. Drop shadow was the size, right? Yeah. Uh, for this, I uh, would like lower the size to like maybe fifty, and then add the spread. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or forty. Sorry, sorry. Then add some spread until like it looks, uh, it like pops out. Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. All right. And I take it that we want to make the text look bigger. The text look bigger? Yeah. Maybe. I... Do we? Want... Okay. Wait. So um, I need you to get the character panel up, but I think it kind of kind of disappeared. Or is it still there? Uh. uh mm -hmm. Or double click on the font again. Okay, I see it. Uh, select the font, like, or select all the text. And then, uh, do you see where it's like, mm -hmm. okay, underneath Myriad po uh, Pro on the character, mm -hmm. there's bold, and then there's a there's the size of it. It's like twenty one, twenty three, or something. And then, uh, uh, yeah, make it bigger. Yeah. Okay. And, there we go. And Easy. Then, uh, where it says auto, uh, you gotta select it again. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're almost done. Oh, select the whole thing. Uh, select all the text. Yeah. 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 Select the text first before you switch to auto. Okay. Uh, change it to um, 26 or 24 if you can. How, Basically how, what when, this When does. you say 26 or 24, how do you know that actually? 
Um, pretty much it's the size of the character, right? And then like if you do it the same size of the of the font that it is, then it's basically saying that the character oh, I see. Okay. face away from each other. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 I was curious how you know that. I was just curious. That's actually really good. And so now yeah. I do control A, right? And then yeah. I create a new layer and then I paste it, right? Oh, we're gonna we're gonna make it two different. Um, oh, okay. Two different colors, or no, uh, no? What do you mean two different colors? Or uh, did you want to make? Uh, like I'm happy the word with get? my art. I'm happy with it. I'm very pleased. Okay. Yeah, I'm happy with it too. I wouldn't want to. I'm pleased. I'm pleased. Yeah. I'm pleased. Now okay. I can become a professional at this. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it's Control A or not? It's, it's not Control A. Sorry. It's um. Oh, oh you want to show them in Discord? Yeah, yeah. So it's. Uh, I'm okay. just trying to rem let me let me try to see if I can remember this. Um, yeah. Okay, new layer. so it's I, I control shift n for a new layer final mm -hmm. product okay and then then i go go back to the photo i hit control and i hit control a and then uh, not no. yet not yet oh, okay. uh, we need to it basically it's like screenshot for the layer it's a uh, shift control alt e it's a bear claw on your keyboard pretty much <laughs> oh okay okay Oh, I think I think I actually yeah, I put that in my notes. Okay, so it's Control Shift Alt E, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, why is it not doing? Okay. Wait. Did it not work? Wait. Oh, uh, you need to click on a new layer. Oh, okay. that's Shrek. <laughs> I clicked okay. on a new layer. Okay, I just want to get that that layering around, off of it. Okay. Okay. Do uh, I get the layering off? Yeah. Um. Uh, give me a second. Okay, create a new layer. Like, this is where we're going to put the final product, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, wait, you do have the final product. Yeah, I do, I do have it, yeah. Can you click on that layer so we're highlighting it? Okay. Okay. And then move it to the very top mm -hmm. so we don't forget where it is. Okay. Uh, drag it to the very top. And then do Shift-Control-Alt-E. And that should basically it basically takes go. all the layers below it. Yeah. All right. And then a control C control C and then control V into Discord and we're done, right? Yeah. <laughs> yes, we did it. We got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, it's Woo. Oh god. You, you know what it is for me? Like the certain things that the, it's it's there's certain things like the layering that are very reminiscent of OBS actually. V very yeah. reminiscent of uh of of, of OBS. Like just the layering order is, is like seems to be really really important, really really important. Yeah. I finally it's... I finally did one that's decent. So like actually so like so like when I, when I look at this picture like there there's a theme. But when you're doing the thumbnails, do you have the theme in mind, or do you like for example, if I look at this image, like would you go and then like find Shrek or put like twenty different characters in that hallway and then come up with a theme, or would you do it ahead of time? In my head, it's like it's like it. This is all very intuitive for me, right? Mm -hmm. Pretty much what I do is I um, I look at all the source images first. And then, like, I guess maybe because I, I used to draw my own webcomic, right? And, like, in comics, you always, uh, you always, like, frame things in windows. Like, it's like you're trying to, like, capture a moment inside of, like, a frame. And so I'm basically looking at the source images, photos of you, mm -hmm. and uh, one of the secrets of chess, right? The only reason I have this job is because... One, you just happen to have so many faces when you play chess, and there are so many high quality photos of you. That is like the big secret about uh, these thumbnails. And then two, they're always like high quality, and I can just use them. And uh, I combine that with stock images or of uh, the images I want to parody. Like I, I like parodying wow. other people's thumbnails, other people's art uh, with our channel basically and uh yeah also since there are uh, i mean since everyone else is still on the call if there if there are questions you have for jaren as well we're waiting for we're waiting for one more picture you guys and then we're going to do a, do a poll do not vote for mine because i don't have the best <laughs> one but um oh yeah. my gosh can yeah. i so i know we made multiple thumbnails tonight are we just submitting like one for i think poll? yeah we just picked the best one okay yeah. okay cool i'm gonna i'm gonna submit for the poll my my shrek one that i posted in here Oh yes, but yeah. That, mm -hmm. I I'm not gonna lie. The comic sans. I'm pretty proud of that one. Uh, and then while we were while we were working on our second ones, 
uh, Ovily and Kelsey and I decided we were going to try doing thumbnails using all three of our photos and then surprising each other with what we did besides that. So, Oh, I it's going to be a surprise. Well. <laughs> it's going to be very surprising. I'm ready to see. Everyone nice. will be surprised. I'm ready. Uh, Looking forward to I mean, it. Jaren, I mean, I, I thrive off of just chaotic Photoshop. So, I mean, in terms of tools that would be helpful to me, is there like, I'm very messy when I yes. cut out people from photos. Is there like a way to quickly fix up the edges of Ooh. photos where I just pull people from? Uh, yeah. So, uh, I did want to go over this, but I know that we're short on time. Um, uh, could I uh, take a look at, uh, say, sorry, I actually uh, can't figure out who's talking. Uh, this is Avali. Hello. Okay, Avali. Um, let's see. Can I look at your stream really quickly, and I can show you like how to Absolutely cut? Absolutely not. Absolutely oh, not. <laughs> not okay, 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 okay. Absolutely. This is supposed to be a surprise for everyone. I just put my blood, sweat, and tears into making these beautiful photoshops chaotic beautiful photoshops okay okay tell you what what i have to theoretically just explain theoretically hypothetically okay so um i'm on my my screen i'm just going to show you like how to like refine the the edges because mm -hmm. uh it is kind of difficult but if you can pull it off it like really helps so basically okay. do the quick select subject and like kind of get the general uh like what you want uh, you can use the lasso and hold shift to like add more data to it. Right? Uh, like if there's stuff that's like missing out, or if you want to say cut off this chair, you can uh, do that. You oh can, my uh, god! I didn't even alt. know that this select subject thing existed. I was just doing oh the quick god. select, and I was just I was just going to town, Jaren. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. I feel like I failed as a teacher. <laughs> no, no, this is great. I've I've learned something today. Okay. But anyway, after you do this, this is like general. We don't need to like get it perfect here. But it's uh, when you go to select, select and mask, this uh -huh. is like where uh, the magic oh. happens. So this is like a mode that's like, I, I need a cookie cutter that is shaped in uh, this person's shape, right? Or this, this hair is shaped. I don't, that's a bad metaphor. But uh, the easiest way to do it is to go to view. Uh, I like to use the overlay. Uh, one, it basically means that like anything that's red, that's not going to show up. And then there are tool tool two tools, uh, the quick selection and the uh, refine edge. Uh, if I hold over this, it should be uh, refine edge. Uh, we use the quick selection tool to get like general uh, stuff out and you hold alt and uh, just like mess with it. It's not like 100 percent accurate, uh, but. Like, oh, wow, it's really yeah, cooperating like with you. Me is a pain in the butt because I'm all the same color as everything behind me. Uh, Kelsey, are you done? I'm done. I'm ready Let's to reveal. Let's do the reveal. Let's do the reveal. Problem. Okay, I'm oh super excited. Okay, who goes first? Yeah. I will go last. All right. Let's do reveals instead. <laughs> okay. Uh, who's who's going first? I'll, I'll post mine first. I'll bring okay. you okay. guys. So we were having a conversation about how much we miss the vibe in a women's restroom. Oh, yeah. Like pre pre quarantine. And so I did the three of us in a women's bathroom. <laughs> oh, my gosh. OK, yeah, I'm opening that, too. <laughs> One sec. I'm going to throw it up on my stream real quick. I love it. <laughs> the speech it's so bubble. good. You All the leaves, like popping out of the <laughs> toilet. Avili's in the toilet. You know Avili's like committed to my mental health and well-being when she doesn't get up from the toilet yeah. to like tell me no. <laughs> tell him not she literally just back. leans out and she's like, don't you dare, girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I just feel like, absolutely friends. not. Absolutely I'm not. Friendship at its Okay, I'll, I'll throw mine in because I know we're running low on time. Are you ready? Yes. So ready. Boom. <gasps> oh my god, you figured that <laughs> that's really really good wow oh my god that's so good i can't hold on i have to pull it up on my stream too oh my god <laughs> oh, wait i'm sorry it's the hikaru's angels angel how angel, did I spell angels angels oh, it's angels oh. Oh my gosh, if it had been angles, that would have been so funny. Yeah. That would have been hilarious. 
I could be your angle or your devil. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh my god. Y'all, the oh, skill, man. the skill in this squad stream. I can't handle it. Wow. It's it's, it's spectacular. It's beautiful. Start. <laughs> I like that we all went for similar photos too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. okay. I think this one's mine. Here's mine. That I went for so almost cool. a similar vibe as the Charlie's Angels, but in a different direction. Oh nice. <laughs> Oh wow! Okay, wait, wait. wait. Oh. I'm trying to. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm pulling this one up on stream again, y'all. Yeah, I'm running a poll <laughs> as well. Yeah, yeah. Which girls? This one's Which amazing. Girls. I okay. I love the text. Like, unironically, the way you got that gradient looks so cute. Thank you. I was very I proud of it. it. It's an added little touch at the end. Y'all, I feel like we really learned tonight. Like, look at our improvement. I'm so proud. It's so good. I love the sparkles that you added over the top. Thank you. They're <laughs> so like, cute. It needs a little something extra. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm running a poll because you guys all have much better artwork. But that's, they're all really, really amazing. It's like, okay, crazy what you can I do. Will, I will say though, Hikaru, don't sell yourself short because that get shrek one that you made get shrek one's <laughs> incredible so it's good, so good. Okay. It's so, i'm gonna put it up on my stream right now because <laughs> obviously you know anything with shrek in it is gonna be way in my is perfect mm -hmm. but yeah it's it's it has everything it has Avali making an exceptional face wait Thank i kind of want this to be an anime Avali. i do too like I, like shrek's in in a school like it should be like school. a slice of life high, high school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes! you know. <laughs> <laughs> and Awfully is the main character, and then it's yeah. just also Shrek is there, and like that's also the show. Shrek is there. I'm like, I would watch it. I love I slice do. of life school <laughs> animes. I absolutely would. Obsessed. Yeah, it, it looks like we have a clear winner. By the way, it looks like uh, Hikaru's Angels is gonna gonna win for for best uh, <laughs> the best 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 piece of art that was created. It was so good. Yeah, All those it, was, it was very close though because everyone's was so freaking good. <laughs> this was so much fun. I had such a good time doing this. I had a fun Me time too. too. We yeah. should all stream together again sometime. Yeah, yeah. this we was should. Really fun. Was that was group. great. It was, it was fantastic. I, I enjoyed it a lot. I think I learned. I mean, considering I had no knowledge, it's pretty amazing to learn these sorts of things. And I mean, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Yeah, yeah I had a lot of fun. It was cool seeing like different uh, methods of of doing things uh, that I might have not thought of before. I was really surprised. Like I have I have a pretty bad memory. It tends to take me a lot of time to learn. But by the time we were making those last round of thumbnails, I actually remembered like every single shortcut that we had done and like the hotkeys for everything. Like I was surprised once we got started how easy it was. You know, I'm so yeah. glad. Yeah, no, Jaren, you did such a good job, and you explained it in a way that was, like, not intimidating. It was really friendly for beginners, and I had so much fun. Thank you for, for giving us a little lesson. Yeah, thank you, Jaren, as well. And yeah, thank, thank you guys you for so listening. Much, <laughs> this was awesome. And let's definitely, let's definitely all stream together in the future and have more uh, thumbnail shenanigans one day. More chaos, Absolutely. Please. <laughs> the rematch. <laughs> yeah. <Ooh. laughs> Oh my gosh. You know what? Congrats Future. on your win, Avali. I was going to say, that would be a great hard. like charity fundraising stream thing. People can submit ideas for thumbnails with charitable Ooh. donations. Oh, I'm wow. definitely going to add that to my my uh, fundraising stream ideas in the future. That's idea an booklet. Idea. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's an idea for the future. Yeah, idea booklet. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you. Great. Sweet. I think uh, now all that's left is to spread the good word of Adobe Creative Cloud to our streams. So exactly. with that, yeah. with that, I think with I'm that. gonna dip from here. Yeah. Have like Me a little well. personal. Yeah. Moment Thanks, you chat. guys. It was a lot of fun. This yeah. Have awesome. a good night, everyone. Good all night. right. Good night. Bye, friends. Bye. Have a good one. All right, you guys. Um, so yeah. So once once again, big big shout out to um to Adobe. Make sure to check it out. I would say, obviously, for me, since it was the first time that I was using the product, um, it was quite difficult for me. But I do think what they were saying about how um 
how like after like how all I think that was Kelsey who said how she remembered all the shortcuts. I really think that if I did this like three or four times, it, it would become like clockwork and, and like I would get it already by like the second time when Jaron was helping me, I felt that I was starting to get a hold of it. So make sure to check it out. As you can tell, um, the whole line of Adobe products are quite amazing. They're the creative, um, creative cloud app plan. Again, I think it's uh, 60% off for students, $19.99 a month. And um, obviously if you're in, the, if you're, if you're a creator, you're trying to create thumbnails, create, you know, memes, what, whatever it is, uh, really, really, um, really, really useful product to, to be using. So make sure to check it out. Big shout out once again to the sponsor of this Adobe shout out to all the people who were involved to Jaron, of course, who's incredible. Um, I think a lot of the stuff he said at the start, like flew right over my head. I think it flew over the head of some of the others as well and the other streamers and um you can tell that i mean these creative types it's just out of this world but also a big shout out to um to kelsey 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 dangerous of course obviously may and negorks as well you know for doing doing the stream with me and i think we all learned quite a bit so thank you so much to adobe once again for sponsoring the stream